what to expect here in the coming days. Humidity is absolutely going to be the theme all week. So today is one of those days. Plus, it's going to be a little bit warmer than it was yesterday. However, I think today will also be the driest of the next couple days when you don't factor in that humidity. We saw some showers and maybe a couple of storms on tap today, but a better chance as we head into the middle and end of the work week. This morning, mainly dry. Of course, our roads are still a little damp from the rain that we had last night, and there are a couple of showers over northern New York and southern Vermont, New Hampshire, but we have a little bit of sunshine out as well. Now, I want to show you guys the two differences in our air masses. We have a dry one to the east. This is the same one that brought us that dry weather last week kind of making a little comeback or at least it's trying to. So it's pushing up against the moist air to the west and they're just fighting back and forth. And that's why we're just stuck right over or right under rather this little slab of rain that's going to be continuing to not only filter these showers into the area over the next couple of days, but it's also filtering in that humidity, which is why it feels so sticky out. And it will again for the most of the rest of the work week as these two systems stall out in the atmosphere. 76 in Burlington, 70 in Saranac Lake, Montpelier, St. J and Lebanon. Plus, of course, it's still very muggy out. It will be warm all day here. We're warming up towards 84 by about noontime, mid and upper 80s easily for our high temperatures. That south southerly wind, just like yesterday, will be on the strong side, and that's also what's pumping in that humidity from the south. Now, we are on the edge of that dry air mass to our east, like I said, and that's why I think a lot of us will still see some sunshine. However, even though the eastern half of the area is going to be drier, don't rule out a stray little shower, and especially for some of our western areas, probably more clouds there and the occasional scattered rain or quick thunderstorm as possible, with the Champlain Valley being right in the middle of those two, so right on the edge of that. Overnight tonight through tomorrow morning, much of the same. A few showers are possible. Now on Wednesday, that moist air to our west is going to start to make again another comeback to the east. So we're just moving back and forth with that thing. And as you can see, more of that moist air is going to start to spread across the rest of the area. Northern New York and Vermont, not only some periods of heavy rain on your Wednesday, likely some thunderstorms mixed in too. And as you can see, all the way through Thursday morning and afternoon, it does at times become widespread and heavier and then maybe getting a little bit of a break. But Friday, still that chance for a few more of those scattered showers and thunderstorms and probably even a couple of those on Saturday while it won't be a washout for the first half of your weekend. So we're in it for the long haul, you guys. Just be prepared. While we do have plenty of breaks in between these showers, there will definitely be some downpours mixed in and a couple of thunderstorms over the next couple of days. And then Sunday, a little bit of a break, less humidity by then and drier before more rain is back next week.